I love music and I love many, many songs. And today I just want to share with you about the sweetest song. This is a video for you who many times discounts yourself. You look at your life and you discredit yourself. You write yourself off. I want to share with you about the sweetest song. And my name is George Murichu. You're watching Sitam Church Online. This is the Youth Cafe. You might be wondering what the sweetest song is. The sweetest song is basically the song uh, of God's grace. It's about amazing grace. There's that old song that, uh, you know, is a hymn and oftentimes we sing it, it's been done in different ways, there are renditions of it. It's that amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. And I want to share this with you because this is actually the sweetest song in scripture. It runs across all of the Bible telling us of how a holy God would bring sinners on board. He'd bring sinners on the table and he would dine with us. And I just want to start by pointing you to the genealogy of Jesus. The genealogy of Jesus is found in the book of Matthew and also in the book of Luke. But let's look at the book of Matthew. In the book of Matthew chapter 1, we have this history of the descendants or rather the ancestors of Jesus Christ. And in that history, we have a number of people who, uh, if you're to think about it socially, it would be scandalous to have them in your genealogy. The way ancient genealogies worked was that they, uh, they were something close to a CV. They were something close to, you know, uh, basically a CV of who you are. They were like your resume. In fact, Herod the Great, one of the leaders uh, in the days of Jesus, uh, cleaned up his CV, purged certain names out of his genealogy because he wanted to have a pedigree, a pure pedigree in terms of his CV. CVs functioned a lot, or rather genealogies functioned a lot like CVs. And when you look at the genealogy of Jesus, it's actually a genealogy of grace. It's full of the grace of God. It's dripping with the grace of God. It tells us about that sweeter song, Amazing Grace. And I want to share uh, with you about some women in the genealogy of Jesus. Remember, uh, the cultural setup in, in the days of Jesus was very traditional. It was very patriarchal. It was chauvinist. It, it favored men. Uh, in fact, men in those days used to pray, Thank you, Lord, that you've not created me as a woman. It was very, very chauvinist. And what we see here in the genealogy of Jesus is uh, the scandal of grace. We see five women were actually uh, singled out in Matthew's genealogy of Jesus Christ. The other thing that we find there is cultural outsiders. Guys who are not Jews are actually given a place of prominence in this genealogy of Jesus Christ. You see, if Jesus was anything like Herod, he would have done his level best to purge out any scandal. You know, he would have cleaned up his CV and ensured that it has a pedigree, a pure pedigree from Abraham. You know, Abraham, father of faith, David, man after God's own heart. It, you know, he would have cleaned it up. But what we see is Jesus brings on board people who would be considered outsiders. And maybe you're watching this video and you look at yourself and you discredit yourself, you discount yourself. You think of yourself as someone who cannot be in the kingdom of God. You look at your past, possibly even your present, and you say, I am too messed up for God. God cannot accept me. If, if you know the kind of things I've done, if you know what I did last night, if you know where I was last weekend, if you know my past, you wouldn't even want me to be in this uh, genealogy. And what I want to share with you over the next number of weeks is about this sweetest song, which is the sweetest song about the grace of God. What's grace? Grace is unmerited favor. It's undeserved favor. 
It's the fact that God looks favorably upon people who don't warrant it, people who do not deserve it. And I think that when we study the genealogy of Christ, we get a glimpse, we get a picture of how God really, really is a God of grace. He shows his favor to people who don't even deserve it. And you and I, we do not deserve the favor of God. We don't warrant the goodness of God. The Bible says that we were, while we were yet, you know, dead in our transgressions, while we were away from Christ, what God did is that he sent his one and only son so that he would reconcile us to himself. He would bring us into the table. He would bring you and I, we who are outsiders, he would bring us on board. And I want to share with you about the grace of God over this next number of videos. So where do we start off from? I've already told you that grace is unmerited favor. It's undeserved. It's something that none of us can look at and say, I worked my way towards that. Grace is simply God's way of leveling the playing field and saying, I will bring on board anyone. It doesn't matter your past. It doesn't matter your present. If you place your trust in my son, you too will be able to sing the sweetest song, that amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. So I just want to start off by praying for you. You who's watching this video and you have written yourself off. You look at your CV and you know that if you present it before God, this God who's so high and so holy, you know that you would be banished away from the presence of God. But the good news about the gospel, the good news, it's not even good advice. The good news is that God is a God of grace. As we're going to see, he wants you to be part and parcel of his family. Allow me to pray for you this time. Father, I thank you for whoever is watching this video and uh, they are thinking about their past, they're thinking about their present, they're thinking about how unworthy they are, how disqualified they are. Thank you that you're a God of grace. Thank you that you do not save us by our good works, but you save us by grace through faith. I pray that someone who's watching this would surrender to you and say, God, I'm not good enough but thank you for your grace. And I pray that they would be able to sing this song of amazing grace. How sweet the sound. I pray that you would find them today in their lostness. I pray that you would open their eyes, those ones who acknowledge that they are blind. And I pray that you will show them your undeserved favor as you've shown it to us, as you've shown it through your genealogy. In Jesus' name we pray. Well, thank you for watching today's video and uh, I, I, I pray that it's been a blessing to you. If you have any questions, any comments, anything that you'd like for us to talk about grace, this sweetest song, go ahead and send it in through the social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course on YouTube. You can like our page, subscribe, and you'll be able to get our videos whenever they're out. God bless you. You've been watching Sitam Church Online.